welcome to this episode of my channel in which we talk about... Uh, I'm gonna have to bleep that out or else it wouldn't be a super duper secret about... Yeah, no, we can't, we can't talk about that yet. But we can talk about the fact that I made it into the Doki Doki Crate magazine. Like, seriously, throw me that magazine. <laughs> People keep telling me um, and tagging me in posts that they are seeing me in the Doki Doki Crate magazine for this month. Anyway, we're gonna check this out and see what I look like in here. I am in here, it's not a, it's not a joke. Guys, I am right in the middle of this thing. Like they took a picture of my video and I just, I'm internally screaming right now. All right, I guess that leads us to the end of this intro in which I say, let's get this party started. Today, I have a super duper big secret, I have to tell you guys, and it's actually that, um, I'm coming out of the closet to tell you guys that I am an introvert! Yep, I'm, I'm an introvert! What is an introvert, you ask? Well, an introvert is somebody who is energized by spending time alone, versus the other opposite of an introvert, which is an extrovert, who is somebody who gets energized by being around people and going to parties and social places. To explain this, this is the bubble of an introvert. Bloop. And this is a bubble of an extrovert. Bloop. It's way bigger, do you just bloop? No, it's different. Okay, so most people think that all introverts are shy, but I'm gonna be breaking that myth today because the difference between shy and introvert is that shy people don't like to talk to anybody at all, and introverts, they like to talk to people, but they only like to talk to the people that they know and like. Like me, talking to strangers and just like small talk like, oh, how's your day? Oh, it's great. No, just. No, we can't, we can't have that. But some introvert people are shy, just like some of everybody are shy. Some of everybody are shy. <laughs> Uh, yeah, some of everybody. So why am I devoting an entire episode of my channel to introvertism -ness? Is because I was thinking, and I was thinking about why I started a YouTube. Most of the reason why I started a YouTube is because I'm an introvert, strangely enough. <laughs> it all started in eighth grade when I was a small little bean and I was like, I had friends for the first time. I was like, wow, I got I got buds now. And they were all joining theater, which I was like, ooh, introvert, shy, theater. No, oh, no, they don't mix. But then I decided to just break out of my comfort zone shell that I had, and I joined the class. And to much of my surprise, it was actually the best class I had ever taken in my life. And I also realized that I'm really actually good at theater. So yeah, I guess introvert and theater do mix. Theater is a really great outlet for me. It's helped me a bunch. And we do so much in there, like trust exercises and stuff. Trust exercises and theater are also the main reason why I have this cut on my face right now, because we're doing trust exercises and I got a nice kick to the face with the stiletto, but hey, I still trust people. Then I decided that little Kiana, well, it wasn't little, it was last year, but um, I decided to join Instagram. I was super late to the party, but I joined it because I wanted to share all my work, like my plushies and art and stuff with everybody. And then once I went on there, I actually made friends in the comfort of my own home. Like how amazing is that? I didn't have to go out and talk to people. I could just be on my couch and be like, oh hey, what's up? And they're like, oh hey, what's up? So yeah, that's how 
part of YouTube started, I suppose. Once my Instagram started getting bigger, people started asking for me to make videos, and I was like, oh, no, no, I'm too introverted for that, you know? The introvertness is too much. But then, I decided to try it out one day, and let me tell you, it has made my world so much bigger. Okay, so let's get this all together. I'm an introvert, we know that. My dad's an introvert, we know that. My mom is an introvert, we know that. And this all led to me trying to become more acquainted with people. So I did the most extroverted thing I could possibly do with myself, which is join theater. And in theater, I performed on stage. I danced in front of people. I was in tons of plays, tons of musicals. And I was even chosen to go to a district competition where I won first place for a monologue. And a monologue is something where you stand on the stage and you are alone and you just say a whole long thing. So yeah, we started off with that and I was like, wow, I'm breaking out of my shell a little bit. Then we moved on to the second thing. And that second thing was Instagram, where I found all these people who are a lot like me. And I realized that, hey, I'm not alone in this introvert society. We're all dweebs on the internet. And that all led us to YouTube. Ah, YouTube. YouTube, introvert, yes. We have them and they go together and it's perfect. And the main reason I joined YouTube is because I'm an introvert. Like I can make videos and talk to you guys all with being in my house. It's crazy amazing. And I get to talk to people from all over the world on a daily basis by being in my own house, which is super cool. I thought that maybe me showing you guys that I'm an introverted person and I'm not super outgoing, but I still do these videos, can inspire you guys who are also like me, who are not super extroverted, to also do something that lets you express yourself without having to go out and express yourself. You just get to sit in the comfort of your own home and get all that creativity you hold in you, all the like amazingness in your brain, and throw it out for other people to see, all within being at home. Moral of the story, I just really wanted to get out there that being an introvert doesn't mean that you can't do things. It actually opens up a whole amount of other things that you can do. So I just wanted to come here and maybe inspire you guys to make your own video or do something that would otherwise be outside of your box of little tiny box of you. Because if you do something like that at least once a week, you become more acquainted with yourself, I suppose. Just do things that make you feel uncomfortable, but still comfortable and make you happy. We're kind of rambling here now, and I just wanted to break up this seriousness by trying out something new and breaking out of my comfort zone in this video. Let's get that thing onto the table. What we have here is a grass jelly drink that is banana flavored. I'm really scared about this, and on the cover thing, it looks like it has chunks and it's brown. So let's, let's do this. I guess this all leads to me saying that because I'm an introvert before, I would not have done this if I didn't have YouTube. And now that I have YouTube, I get the greatest opportunity to drink a grass jelly drink, banana flavored. We have the traditional grass jelly drink banana flavored cup. This really brings out the flavor of the drink. It really emphasizes all of the uh, commodities in it. We also have the four ice cubes of mandatoriness. We have our wonderful chilled can of grass jelly. Ice cubed! This is the worst thing I've ever done to myself. Oh, it looks normal. <laughs> it looks normal. It just looks like tea or Coke. Um, it smells like your uh, typical grass jelly drink. Bon appetit. <laughs> I can't do it. I'm so scared. Oh my goodness. Oh wait, no. Oh, oh! <laughs> When I first 
first drank it, it tasted like uh, chai tea with a little bit of more cardamom in it than usual. Then I drank it more and it went down my throat and it tasted uh, more like artificial bananas mixed with uh, spice. Tastes like if you ate candy from your grandma's house and it was really old. It's not that bad though, surprisingly. I was really scared. 10 out of 10 would not recommend unless you actually like the flavor of grass for your life, I don't know. I guess that's the end of my video and we can wrap it up. I just wanna say thank you guys so much for watching and introverts, unite separately in your own homes. I will see you guys next time, bye! And that's a wrap. Look at me just here on fleek. <laughs> Those higher core sheets. Yep. <laughs> Open the door and call them in here. In this one? Yeah. This one had chunks.